of the room. Am I on the marijuana? Okay, so Lai, why don't we clarify this right here? Do not smoke or marijuana, please. This is from experience. What is in the internet PG-13? Do not smoke marijuana, please. Please don't smoke marijuana. And that's hypocritical of me because I did smoke marijuana from 1999 to approximately 2007. Uh, you shouldn't smoke it because it destroys your sense of yourself. Marijuana in heated form is bad for you. Marijuana in raw form is probably pretty healthy. Just fight me in real life, really? Yeah, it is sad. Uh, sheet music for Dream Suite in C major would be easy enough. All right, very happy vampire bed is not at all happy, or is he or she? Uh, is he talking to somebody else? Is she talking to somebody else in here? We're really getting to know people, aren't we? Weed salad, maybe. Uh, pool's gold. Yeah, yeah, zirconium. Um, <clears throat> I, 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 you know, I regret having smoked me weed, although, you know, it, it can be helpful. It's probably better than, you know, getting guillotined a bunch of times. Pardon me, guillotined. I'm not running. Although it is kind of like running. You know, there's really no rush. Tar in their lungs is a good idea. Okay, so... I think that bacon should be illegal, as some people know. I think that uh, styrofoam is often in some of these commercially produced cigarette filters. So, um, what is it? It's like it's like setting styrofoam on fire, and that's that's cancer. But if you set tobacco on fire, if you're at like a powwow or something, probably not the worst thing for your lungs. In fact, it might help clear out some of the mucus. The thing about it is that, like, it's associated with, you know, illegality when it's gummy or something. Like, um, as we evolved back thousands of years ago, we were probably experimenting with all kinds of different things to smoke. We were smoking twigs like Jeff Patrick. Oh, that might have not have been hap uh, a happy reference, but um, we were smoking flowers. You know, we probably didn't, shouldn't even smoke them. It was like, no, you shouldn't smoke a flower, or should you? So, anyway, different plants were communicating different things to us as we evolved. And when we arrived at marijuana, marijuana was the plant that said, okay, I'm pretty complex. You probably shouldn't set me on fire. It was maybe even um, somewhat similar to the human genome. Don't burn plastic. Right, right. Hey, hey buddy. Oh, hey, <laughs> Victor. <laughs> Uh, nobody knows. Um, <laughs> I have not voluntarily participated in any illicit substances past smoking marijuana, which is why I think I have a scientific variable of the mind. Right? Okay. Well, so like the only thing that I've had that has been illegal to my knowledge has been heated marijuana. Legs holding up okay to my knowledge. I think the medical marijuana is probably great in raw form, but I think the zombie apocalypse, thanks to these 73 people, 72 now, um, you know, maybe sort of a, you know, difficult situation. This is a small room we have here, okay everybody? Sonic Lunch 2019, ooh, that was close. Yeah, I ate the flower. 
Um, hmm. How does this live show go from Hey, what's your favorite song to drugs? Well, drugs and music are sort of uh, interchangeable relative to Zeitgeist's Cobb Salad. Oh, you want ham or something? Is that really ham? Burnt rubber? Here, it is getting kind of dark. Okay, all right. Let's see. Somebody challenged me to wrapping the ruler of everything a wrap right now. It's kind of kind of scary idea. Do you hear the flibbity jibbity jibber jabber? With an oh my god, gotta get out of here. I'll have another word to sell. Are you gonna be able to navigate in the dark? What do you think? What do you think? Do it, I won't. Okay, I don't know how to really ride a unicycle, Mr. Michael. Mr. Michael was a teacher at. Uh, East Hills. Maybe still is a teacher. I don't know. I went to middle school at East Hills. Iconic. Mucka Blucka. Ross rapped Mucka Blucka. Vinyl's okay. Um, 5 a.m.'s fine if you're not tired. I don't know. New Jersey and it's already pitch black. Are you kidding? That's interesting. Really? Pitch black in New Jersey? Big light. Nine twenty six PM. John Paul, George, and Ringo as per a watch purchased in Hawaii during that trip. You can get one of those and watch it on eBay maybe. Sleepy V. Yo. Sorry. Pokemon. King song. Pokemon. Gobble chicken song. Yeah, I did sing the gobble chicken song. Everybody gather along. It's time for the money on brain, brain. Curse word. You want to hear the worst curse word on Instagram? Buses. Maybe. Pitch sun in Vancouver. Nice. Ohio kind of dark. Wait, you want me to be quiet? All right, why don't we just why don't we just proceed in silence here for a bit? I'm gonna read some of these and we'll see if we get any decent questions. Bill and Ted's bogus journey is a work of art, and the book is probably readable. Scars are weird, yeah. Uh, there are a lot of parasites living in us all the time. Most people are in denial of this. A lot of doctors won't tell us about them. What do you have to say about the rumors about you being sunbishesh? Sugendes. Uh, what's Sujan this? Honest opinion on cherry peel. No idea. Space Station Level 7. Underrated song. Underrated. That song is one of my favorite chord progressions. And I kind of wrote it, but there was a video game called Hell Cab in the 90s that had kind of a similar flavor. And in the elevator, they played, um, you know, music. Uh, there might be <coughs> a, a, a few video games that influence that, that uh, tune. Watashi wa Nihongo ga wakarimasen. That's cliche at this point, though, as we both know, don't we, Jane? <laughs> uh, 
current favorite song? Space Station Level 7. It's an elevator song. Bora insisted that it was a ladder, and that's all right. You know, it's a little more work. What else do I do for work? I, well, so that's like the Ari uh, Weinswig question for some. 76 people in here. Every moment is work. Every moment. We are always working. Stop bullying Joe. Thanks. Two people. Still going, you know. We, there, uh, we haven't quite. E we haven't even scratched the surface of what we could dis discuss. I mean, anything else? Queen Anne's lace here, not hemlock. Oh gosh, I missed one. All right, let's try again. Let me go kind of low. All right, here we go. Low-hanging fruit, but it isn't fruit, and it's clean. Queen Anne's carrot. Not hemlock. It's a carrot. It's delicious. Sometimes spiders hang out in there, so you want to blow on it, but it's, uh, it's healthy food. You know, it's funny that the, the – well, it isn't really funny, but there was the family that uh, cannibalized without realizing that a lot of the buds on the evergreen trees were edible. And the needles and so forth. It's all food. <laughs> uh, Joe Hall is a football player, and I have never met. First song I wrote was. Probably Gobble Chicken. Rule of Everything was the first complete song I wrote. Yeah, it is kind of tiring to ride this thing and talk to everybody. 83. Got it. That's not Hemlock. Yeah. My favorite. Type of tree. Um, slap Rob in the face. How the LGB tizzies. I always say sexual, but I'm gay. It's a hemlock grove. What is that? My best friend married a Swedish guy. Yes, it's a unicycle. Although, to be fair, it could be like a Malkovich best friend, as per In the Line of Fire. <laughs> this is what he does to his friend. <clears throat> you could say it's the gay straight. You gotta end with the boom, right? <clears throat> it's like... Does my bio have a link to no Joe Ollie? Oh, who wants to be in my video? Okay. 
Nathan for you. You're Swedish, but you're a very young female and not a guy. Okay. Seems great. So, Holly Call is trying to tell me what to do. Just please say the F word. And if you do that, maybe I'll consider saying it. Oh gosh, really? Oh no. Hmm. Do I have many friends? Okay, Brad Talley wants me to do it. Hey, Brad. Come on in the video, Brad. I'm just kidding. Why do people keep asking to be in the video and then declining? Own up to your request. Seven. Fun. We're having fun. Yeah, the album has been um, preempted by legal concerns. Uh, Joe Holly, Joe Holly's CD would be really difficult because we need a lot of legal terms. Every once in a while. Why do you private your accounts every once in a while? Favorite black president. <laughs> Well, Obama was about half black. Please say the F word. All right. You really want me to say it? I'm going to say it. You want me to say it? Can we hit me with a car? Um, <clears throat> is that some kind of you know, passive-aggressive thing, man. Fallout. Speaking of F-words. Request from Nathan. Oh, come on in here. Don't worry about it. Oh, don't worry. No worries. No worries. No worries. Ooh, what was that? Was that like a... Kind of boniness on the rocks? Okay, welcome. How, how does this even work when you go live with other people? The whole comment section is pretty concerning. Welcome! Are you fucking shitting me? Thank you for joining us. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here we are. All of us are here together. 74 people, two people being featured. Simultaneous, like. Incredible. Okay. Uh, lacking credibility. To some extent. Turn the lights off. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could turn it. Well, I can actually adjust the front headlight on this thing. But uh, off we go. Here we are. So now it's going to be kind of tricky because we've arrived at our destination town, but this can't be, you know, too public. It's sort of like parts unknown, right? 78 is big. What's up? Okay. <clears throat> this has been a fun Ask Me Anything. Does anybody have any questions for for Bern for Bernadette? What what's up? What's up, cool kids? Despacito, that's not a quest. Teddy, how the fuck did you get here? What the fuck? Someone from my school was here. I'll I'll say I'll say the fuck word for all for Joe. Awesome. I'll I'll, I'll bite that bullet for you, Joe. That was awesome. Well, fuck. You said it. 
It's crazy. <gasps> Chicago, what's your favorite song? Did you see uh, what happened? Did you see what happened just then? What happened? I crossed over the parallel lines. Did you see that? And there's a there's a sewer. Does anybody know how I die yet? Uh, my favorite Charlie Hall song is "Reward of Everything." Uh, you you never told me how you died. Oh. Teddy, fuck off. Why are you? How did you get here? Oh. Peer pressure. I'll tell you how I die. How do you die? Well, maybe I shouldn't tell this group yet. It's kind of esoteric. Okay, but I said I would tell you how I die. I drown at the age of 102, but that's a secret. If anybody tells anybody, they're going to die way too early for what that's worth. Okay. All right. Fair? So all 80 or however many people here heard that, and none of them are welcome to tell anybody, or they're instantly going to find out how they died. Uh, wrong. I will not choke on a banana. Wrong. Do you Incorrect. Want a banana? When you know how you die, you know. Mr. Lonely, you, you just from have a to car ask crash. Him. That's interesting. Well, we're all going to die. You'll. Learn, it's like the eye in Big Fish. You'll find out how you die, and you'll know for sure. That just sounds terrifying. What sounds terrifying, B? No, knowing how you die. Like, that just sounds... Well, isn't it kind of an advantage? Time. I guess? Well, yeah, because I guess... You know how you die, know. because then it's like... Yeah, yeah, then you yeah. know you never... I'm not telling Joe to say uwu. You're not worried about dying otherwise, because you know how it's going to go. Right? Yeah. It reminds me of the fucking chick track 